Hey everyone, Jason Wackerly here. Today, or tonight, we're taking out a couple kids fishing. They're both five, six years old or so. They're in kindergarten. They've never caught walleyes before, and we're gonna try to get them out there this last couple days of game fish season here in Wisconsin. It's March 4th. We might go out fishing again tomorrow too. We'll see how, we'll see what happens. But you might get two different nights in one video here. The last two nights of game fish season. And we're going to see if we can get these walleyes feeding. Tonight we're kind of dealing with a high pressure system. And a cold front tomorrow. It's supposed to be 65 degrees and we might get storms later on in the night. I hope those storms hold off because we don't want to get dumped on or anything like that. Hopefully the fish bite, we'll see what happens. Let's get out there and catch some fish. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you silly? Oh my goodness. You, you're so happy all over the weed, or snow pants, aren't you? You're so happy, aren't you? Oh my goodness, boo. Look at you go. Look at you go. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's small one. Come on, get away. You having fun there? Come on, give me that orange one. <laughs> that, that little snake orange one. Yeah, I got him. I got a little sneaky one here. Alright, I think, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. But yeah, one more. Oh! I caught that too. Probably for any more bait than we even need. Yeah. Come on, Alright. Alright. You ready to go fishing? Yep. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it. We have our first flag of the night, and we got two kids out here that never caught walleyes before, so hopefully one of them. Are you catching it, or who's catching it? I'm going to hook it, and I think Jason's going to bring it in. All right. Okay. Watch out, okay? <laughs> Jason, here you go. Okay, remember, keep it a little. Come on, keep it a little. Really? Keep it in the middle of the hole. Middle of the hole. Okay. Really? 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 Nice work, Kaysen. Here, hold that walleye up next to him. How big is that compared to Kaysen? That's so small. <laughs> That's so small. <laughs> All right, good, good work, good work. Let's get another one. All right, this is the second flag. I caught it. Now this is Matt's first walleye. Wow. Good job, Max. All right, third flag of the night. It's been a slow night, but it might be picking up now. Little guy Kaysen just had a fish coming up to his bait on the locator when he was jigging. Good job, Kaysen. You feel anything or hopefully he didn't drop it. Excuse me. Are you silent? Come 
Oh man. Are you serious? Come on, no. Did you get robbed? I did, and he tore it like apart. <laughs> really? Oh, God. I'm gonna run back to the state. All right, thank you. My heart is broken. Medium shiner? Uh, yeah, please. How's that feeling? I don't know what I'm talking about. Put the camera down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> we most likely have a catfish. Yep, catfish. Oh, hold on, he's stuck. Yep. All right, he's gonna take another run. Oh, is he coming up the hole? Can you grab him? Oh, buddy. I can probably grab him once he calms down. Oh, almost at the hook. Here you go. Dude, that's awesome. So there's catfish here too, I guess. You gonna take them home and eat them or throw them back? Yeah, just watch out for that hook. Treble hook. Oh, there we go. Wow, there's the bait right in his lip. <laughs> Here, let's uh, get that off the hook and then we'll get a video of you holding it. Tyler just caught this big catfish, but look at the musky teeth marks. You can see the shape. These are all musky teeth right there. T boned his ass. Wow. <laughs> that was hell of a fight. Oh. Can't believe a muskie grabbed that guy. That's a fresh 20 mark. Six. 20 sits, eh? Probably about yeah. the same exact size as the last one I caught. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Good job, ready. man. All right. Little case in here. We have a flag. His dad just caught a big catfish. Oh yeah, he's turning. You guys gonna stick him or lose him? Yeah. What do you think, Kason? I think him. Stick him. Yeah. He's on there. Here you go. Here you go. Yep. Come on, come on. Take him. Take him. Start pulling. Pull, pull. Nice. Go. There you <laughs> go. Fist bump. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Good job, guys. That's a nice little walleye. Yeah. It's something, right? Yeah. Good job, Kason. <laughs> All right, he probably swallowed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, man. All right, well, here we go. Good job. Hold that up for the camera. Here, come stand in the camera. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. There we go. Let's get that off the hook. All right. How do you feel? Good. I already caught, like, I already caught three fish. Yeah, and your dad caught that big catfish, eh? Hey? Yeah, it was a really strong <laughs> It was, yeah, that one was not really tough, though. Yeah, that fish didn't fight that much on a tip-up, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah, he was a little guy, that so we... That only fights on, like, the rods. Yeah. He was a little guy, so we threw him back. You know, he has to live another day. Yep, and that's how we do it. Yep. All right, here we go. First flag, didn't even get a chance to set up all the tip-ups yet. All right. Got Jason and Case in here. <laughs> Jason and Case. <laughs> This is the last day of game fish season, yeah. and it's about to rain out, 64 degrees. Yeah. You ready? Come, yeah. come right here. Yeah. 
Get, get, get right by the hole. Don't let go of that. <laughs> oh, little guy. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> oh Let's unhook him. And All right, hold on. Here, hold on. Hold on here. Do you need pliers? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, okay. Release this one. We'll let that one take it. Remember that with the big shot? Oh, I broke my hook. Don't do that. Poor this little guy. Let's get the thing to see his mouth and I hate her. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. All right. He's not going away. He will. Go All right, Kason, let's go get this one. Double in the road. Back to back. Jason, you want to try it by yourself? Yeah. All right. All right, I'll teach you what to do. Here, Jason, put your put your fingers right between there. If you feel a push, yank off. Put your finger over there. There you go. Yep, just like that. So that way you and hold on tight. Pull, pull them up. Oh, you just missed him. You tried. You tried. It's okay. Good try, though. <laughs> there we That's go. All right. Let's get back at it. We are sitting in the car right now. We got Tyler and Kaysen back here, but we are watching tip-ups from the car because it was pouring rain out. Kaysen already got one walleye. He missed another. And now the flags aren't flying for whatever dumb reason. Seems like if it's brutal cold out here, they don't bite. If it's warm out, they're not biting. Beginning to start, I'm beginning maybe. to think we need dynamite. Yeah. Or, or maybe it's because it's raining me. Could be, but. Could be. Who knows? I, I feel like I thought I knew what walleyes were about, but. Yeah, we're just. Uh, Here's little Jason right here. <laughs> Here's little Tyler right here. <laughs> we are just trying to catch some fish and it sits 30 right now. We're listening to some Eddie Murphy on Sirius XM radio, some stand up comedy, and trying to catch some fish, watching for the little lights to go up on their tip ups. Nothing not, yet. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe we should have threw one of those Cheetos down there. Yeah. Do some Cheetos for bait. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you guys got me. <laughs> you guys thought you could pull a fast one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably catch a catfish on that thing. <laughs> yeah, though. All right, stay tuned. All right. Well, we got our first flag of the night after we had that feeding window earlier. All right, here you want to come? Can I try it? Can I for you? Do you want to do it? Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, close the bale. Close it, close the rod, there you go. There you go. Keep, your, keep your down, right there, there you go. Set it, set it. There you go. There you go. Good, good. Keep going. Good job, buddy. There you yeah. go. There you go. Yeah, boy. Yeah. All right, let's get him away from the hole. <laughs> First time you ever did that. There you home. go. Look at that. Hey, give me some. That's great. <laughs> oh my God. All right. He swallowed it. Oh jeez. Yeah. We'll All right. Watch. All right. We're gonna let this one go, and then we'll go back. Good job, buddy. Yeah, good job, bro. All right, Kaysen, what is this, flag number four now? Yes. You gonna get them? Okay. Remember, flip that bale over. Yeah, flip it over. Yep. Yep, there you go. Oops. Yep. Now 
Now slowly reel. Slowly, no, come closer. There you go, there you go. Okay, slowly reel, slowly, keep going. Okay, ready? Okay, slowly, 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 slowly. When you feel it, step up. Fourth flight of the night. Okay, just wait, hold on. The sky just cleared up. All right, keep going. Don't tell me. Really? Jeez. Or maybe it's supposed to be the wind. Could have been the wind. But that looked like he took a lot of line, hey? Yeah, this is all tangled here. Alright, man, you did good, though. You did it all right. Yeah, you did it good. It just took too long. Yeah, it probably took too long. You're probably right. Oh, well. Well, we just left the lake in a mess. The most severe thunderstorm I have ever seen in the winter time hit. Lightning all over the lake. As soon as it flashed, it was bang. And the wind picked up and Oh my God, it was a nightmare. I had a finicky fooler get blown out of the hole. And if you guys ever used a finicky fooler or an iFish Pro, you open up the bale on your rod. Well, when that happens and it goes flying across the lake, we had about a hundred yards of line, the rod and the whole entire base taken into the darkness down the lake. So as we're packing up in the pouring rain, lightning everywhere most violent storm that just blew in we're sitting here freaking out we're on a lake full of water full of rain with lightning touching down we're trying to pack up nine tip-ups and finicky fuller rods and reels and we can't find one of them so tyler grabbed onto the fishing line we found stuck to the ice with the shiner and he followed it and thank God for Tyler, he got my rod and reel and entire thing back because that would have been an expensive loss, at least 150 bucks for the rod, reel, and the fooler. Anyways, it was nice getting out. It was an interesting trip tonight, or the, the past two nights have been really slow. Sadly, we, we really thought we were going to do really good for walleyes especially so late in, into the year or the winter and with the weather we've had, but the weather has been either 65 degrees and raining or it's been 32 degrees and snowing. It's been up and down, up and down, or it's pretty much just below zero, just awful. This winter has sucked for fishing. I don't think I've ever seen snow fall this fast in my life. I can barely see across the street. Ooh. Windy. I know a lot of guys did pretty well going to certain locations, but I've been fishing a lot of the lakes I fished this year, last winter, and for 20 years, 30 years, and have always done good. And it was tough. The fish were there. They just would not turn on for any length of time. The past two nights, we got all our flags before it got dark. And then all of a sudden, once it got dark, it just went dead. Which doesn't make sense. Fishing crystal clear water, it's usually the other way around. You don't get any flags until it's dark out. Not this year. I mean, the past four trips, it's been kind of like that. But the past two nights, it was just weird getting back-to-back -back flags right off the bat before we even get all our lines set and then it's just dead i don't know if they were feeding in the afternoon and wouldn't it make sense they're walleyes crystal clear water shallow water but i just don't understand why we're not getting them last night i kind of understood we had a high pressure system but the pressure fell today it was warmer than hell it went up like 30 degrees I don't know if that was too extreme of a change, but we were really hoping to get those kids on some fish. We were getting Kaysen, just getting Kaysen to learn how to set the hook and 
feel for the bites when he pitched that rod up. He did really good. It was great seeing those kids catch those fish. I would give up every tip up all winter long just to see a kid happy catching the fish. So I'm really happy they at least caught some walleyes. And Tyler caught that big catfish jigging, the jigging spoon in Minnowhead. But it's, it was a slow couple nights. We had to put together two different nights into one video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow the season closes, or after midnight actually tonight. So now all we can do is fish panfish or go to the rivers and fish walleyes or any lake connected to a major river system. But pike, walleyes are closed season now. And I'm gonna be chasing some panfish still. I hope to get into some keeper, bluegills, crappies, perch, so I can have a couple fish fries with my wife. Maybe some fish fries with some friends or something, but I'm waiting for open water walleyes in the rivers, open water walleyes. There are steelhead, brown trout on the rivers, sorry, tired and slightly frazzled because I forgot to tell you guys on the way home we hit a storm cell that had 80 mile per hour wind pouring rain and it was like a freaking tornado touched the ground I couldn't see in front of the car it was just a nightmare never seen any storm like that in winter it's nuts the weather is getting worse and worse every year crazier and crazier around the world and I mean this is March 5th it's pouring rain out we had I wish I got it on video, but I wasn't about to start filming when we're standing in water on top of ice because there's so much water on the ice right now with lightning touching down. Scary. And that wind was wicked. That finicky fooler taking off on us was crazy. I'm really, really glad Tyler found it. Thank you, Tyler. I know you're watching this. But good thing we got the kids on some fish the past couple nights. Nice fish that Tyler caught catfish but if you guys like this video subscribe to my page hit the like button i'm gonna pull my vehicle out of the out into the driveway so that i can get a car wash get all the salt off my car and dry off probably eat some soup or something take a shower relax but have a nice day have a safe fishing season and don't fish during wacky weather i guess because you might run into a lightning storm or a tornado or whatever the hell just hit i don't know take care